Hi guys, Kolya War ready this. Long time no see. Recently, I'm working on my company's uh, real-time data visualization uh, dashboard. We are using ultra wide bandwidth radar sensor to detect people's indoor location in real time. I'm writing the program to uh, display people's indoor location on the web dashboard by using d3.js. So let me show you the simplified version of the dashboard. And then we dig into the code. OK. So this is a very simple blueprint of the room. And this is the table. This is the uh, width of the room. And uh, this is the length of the room. The radar data is sending by MQTT to the backend and uh, the backend using uh, socket IO to send the data to the front end and the uh, front end is constructed by d3.js to display the people's uh, indoor location and other relevant data so let me show you so if I uh, detect a person coming into the room. It will show up here. And uh, when the person change uh, location, for example, and it will move in here. And uh, when the sensor detect uh, other new person enter the room, it will show up here. If uh, detecting another person, which is me, going into the room, and it will show up here. In this video, I'm gonna show you the backend code by using Node.js, Express.js, MQTT, socket IO and the front end code by using this 3.js building this hover card bending data to the uh, people's location and uh, bending like uh, different colors to different person okay for running the program you need to first run mosquito uh, broker I have uh, already run it, so it's saying it's already used. And uh, also, you need to use uh, node mount to run the server inside uh, the project folder. Okay, and uh, this program here is uh, simulate radar data input sending through MQTT. The code here is built by UITS. You can use Mosquito instead to send the MQTT data. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. I will explain the front-end and back-end code. See you in the next video. Bye.